Hello everyone, so Claude 4.5 Opus came out the other day and along with that I've heard there's been a lot of updates to the Webflow MCP so what I really wanted to do in this video was see where it's at right now. Oh, oh I see a component. If this adds props, I'm gonna be a happy guy. So I've used the Webflow MCP in the past with mixed results. Some things went really well, some things didn't go too well. Would I use it to design sections for myself? No. No, it did not pass my test on that. But overall, for me, the idea of the combination of AI and Webflow is absolutely perfect because I can use AI to stop my designer's block. Let's let's go ahead and call it that. I can have AI make my starting point and I can build based off that and I can fine tune anything however I want because my issue with Webflow right now is that, well, I mean, you're doing everything manually in a time where I do everything with AI. My issue with AI is that I can't fine tune things like I'm so used to doing in Webflow. So the idea of the Webflow MCP is promising and I'm really excited in this video to check it out and see where it's at right now. So we have it connected. If you don't know how to install the Webflow MCP, go to the link in the description. We have another video where we go through that. So I'm not gonna cover it in this video. What I wanna do here is I have the client first clonable set up and I just wanna let it know to make me a homepage. I'm gonna let it know to make me a homepage for a marketing agency and let's go ahead and see how good it is. So actually what I'm gonna do first is I am going to install the Claude code skills. So we have another video where I show you how to do that. So I'm not gonna show it in this video, but not using Webflow that has been creating the most insane front ends for me. I don't know if it's gonna work the same in Webflow, but we will find out. All right, so I just wrote up this prompt. Can you make me in Webflow a nice homepage for a marketing agency? Use some nice and unique branding. Simple prompt, but I'm putting it in plan mode and it's probably gonna think about it and then come back to me with a couple of questions. So really excited for this test. Let's see what's gonna happen. All right, so it just made this plan right here and there's a whole bunch of different stuff going on. So it came up with this idea for how it's gonna look. It came up with this brand, Ignite brand, very cool. Obviously in your real work, it's probably not gonna be coming up with the brand name because I mean, hopefully you have a brand name, like don't rely on AI to do that for you, but we're all doing this in good fun. So I'm gonna let it run its plan and we're gonna see what it is going to come back with. Is it gonna get stuck? Is it gonna get the context clogged? I have no idea but we're gonna find out today. All right, so it is done, and I would say the results are super shocking. So first things first, it left in my nav bar here from the template, don't love that, whatever. Let me go ahead and close this off and put it in preview mode so we can see what's going on. So I use the front end design skill in Claude, and it seems to like orange, and it seems to like this ghost text stuff that it did behind. Look at this button hover effect. So if I scroll down, we've got, we've got this. There are some issues. There are most definitely some issues like more than I can even count. That being said, last time I used the Webflow MCP to be a designer, well, it basically would get stuck constantly halfway through and then get confused and start doing something else. This did indeed manage to build this page, which has a lot of good, but it also has a lot of bad. And uh, we have 11% of our context left. So. What about the Webflow MCP? Does it have a long way to go? Yes, it has a long way to go. But this is easily 10 times better than it was the last time I've used it. And I'm really, really excited for the future of it. So when would I actually use the Webflow MCP right now as a Webflow developer? Well, I would use it to build out certain things for me. So let's just say you're working on something, you need to create something simple, you know exactly how it should be. You can explain it to the Webflow MCP, like let's say make me a grid with cards in it, keep the cards empty. You can do that and then go ahead and have a coffee. You can use it to do the things that are very, very simple for you. Right now, I would definitely be using the Webflow MCP like that as a Webflow developer. Now to have it go ahead and design you and develop you some beautiful pages from scratch, well, I don't think it's quite there yet, but we are getting close. So I'm very happy with the progress that was made. I love using it with Opus and with the front end design skill because this time it actually, it got a lot more creative. It's got a lot of issues, right? Like, I don't know what this is. Why does it say this is some text inside of a div block, you know, but it made an excellent starting point. And if we look at the way that the classes are named over here, well, we have some really solid class names. I mean, the Webflow MCP is wonderful. And again, I've said this before, if you are a beginner and you're kind of iffy with naming classes, the Webflow MCP can totally help you with that. Go through your site, then add the Webflow MCP and just be like, hey, go through my site and clean up my class names and it's gonna work. So final note on this is yeah, Webflow MCP, 
Huge improvement, still got a ways to go, but I am very, very excited about it, along with all of the other stuff that Webflow is doing. So if you haven't seen AppGen yet, we also have quite a few videos on that. Another example of Webflow making progress in AI, which I'm very excited about. So that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one and have a great day.